this. So this is a, the sorting activity with inverses. Inverse, something you can you can undo. So I'm gonna got two categories: things that can be undone, things that cannot be undone. And so my first one there that I pulled is exploding fireworks. Yes or no? No. No. Cannot undo that. So does not have an inverse. Um, the next one in my little packet is laundry detergent mixed with water. No. Cannot be undone. Now, this um, next one, children on bus routes. That, so the bus driver picks them up and can the driver reverse the route and drop them off in the reverse? Yes. So that can be undone. Um, this one. Some of these, I'm not crazy about the way they're worded, as are maybe some of you might not be crazy about the way they're worded. Let's see. Add three to a number and get 724. Can you subtract three from 724 to get the number you started with? Yes, I think that can be undone. Now, I am assuming here the water balloon does pop. Now, I, I, sometimes we'll have students say, well, what if it doesn't pop? Okay. Um, throwing a water balloon and having it burst cannot be undone. Um, here's the one I don't like. Subtract 10 from a number and then multiply the number by itself. I'm not sure what they're trying to say for this problem. Subtract 10 from a number. So let's say we have a number like um, 12. Here's my number 12. So 12 minus 10 is what? Two. See, and then multiply the number. What number are they talking about? Two. Right. And the way they say uh, the number, I'm thinking, well, the number's 12. You know, they used a number in there twice, and they're really referring to two different numbers. I think they're talking about the two. Multiply the answer by itself. So two squared is four. Can I take four and take the square root? The square root of four is two. And then add 10 and I get 12. Does that work every time? No, it doesn't. It does not work every time. When would that not work? If you got a negative, let's say we had where it says subtract 10 from a number. Let's say we start with the number 3. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. Negative 7 squared is 49. And then if you're doing square root of 49, it's sort of like... Um, Wait a minute, you know, do I want positive 7 or negative 7? So that one, I would say, cannot be undone. It, it's not like you could back everything up and have everything just fall into place the way it was before you did the item in the first place. So I'll say no for that one. How about this next one, putting on and taking off socks and shoes? That can be undone. Oh, driving directions. If you put, yeah, if you put some directions in Google Maps, you can just tell it. Reverse the direction. That can be undone. Salt in a recipe? No. No. I think this one should say 
Spilling bleach on your favorite pair of jeans? No. Mixing rocks and marbles in a jar? Yes. Using gasoline in a car? You could refill it, but can you go back and undo using the gasoline? No. Packing and unpacking. Yes. All right, so there's some examples of some problems, inverse or not inverse. Any questions about that?